Since 1970, each April, every camper in the contiguous United States migrates to the same patch of dirt in the middle of bumfuck nowhere. They've all come for one thing. Ride dirt bikes really fast through the desert. This is the Desert 100. Four hours on the road, six pee breaks for the unicorn, 264 pictures, one mountain pass, and a big ass river later, and we finally crest a rise and get our first glimpse of the RV city. There's literally nothing but fields for 30 miles in every direction. That is, aside from this Mad Max utopia. Bikes, campers, a beer garden, and enough propane to send us all to the moon. There's energy in the air as we head to the sign up, or maybe it's just race fuel. And already we're getting our excuses lined up. My mic keeps dying. Oh no. I might have to take six days if it don't, if it don't behave. <laughs> the two day event kicks off with a selection of poker runs, including a mini race for the kids. A ladies ride, a family poker run, an adventure dual sport poker run, and the 100 mile Ironman. Now I'd limbered up for the event by sitting my ass on a beach, getting fat and drinking daiquiris for the past week. It didn't take long before I had tequila oozing out of my pores and my kidneys decided to revolt thanks to the endless barrage of whoops littering the course. But with conditions perfect, a balmy 48 degrees with a slight drizzle, they kept the dust down and the traction amazing, we set out. And yeah, in case you were wondering, I'm gonna be chasing and failing to keep up with this old goat ah! all damn day. Ah! 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 Not 100 yards off the start, we witness our first crash which did well to set the stage for the ride to come. This kind of riding is a far cry from the tight, slimy, technical trails I'd grown accustomed to back home. Out here, it's fast. It's rocky, and the whoops are endless. It's tough to even find 20 yards where you can sit your butt on the seat and rest. I have stabilization turned on my GoPro so you don't lose your lunch trying to watch this video. But to get a feel for how bumpy it was, take a look at the original DMG's footage with stabilization turned on. I learned a lot of valuable lessons this first ride out at the Desert 100. Lessons I won't soon forget when I return next year. First and foremost, a week of drinking in the sun may sound like a great training regiment for a 100 mile grueling desert ride, but I assure you, it is not. Second, wear a good kidney belt. I can't stress this enough. After 50 miles, my kidneys felt as though they'd gone 10 rounds with Tyson. Third, I've got to think there's a right and a wrong way to set up suspension for this kind of riding and I'm fairly certain mine was set up the wrong way. I'll have to do some research on this. And last but not least, make sure your bike is in tip top shape. I had no time before the race to fix my front brakes which barely worked at all. And not having brakes, well that's a bit of a problem especially when riding in a cloud of bikes. Although the course is grueling, it's not technical at all. In fact, there was really only one area that seemed to give anybody any trouble, and it was this rocky hill. The original DMG and I sped up to the top of it and then sat there for about 10 minutes watching the carnage unfold.
On the morning following the Iron Man, the racers came out for the main event. A hundred mile hair scram. With one of the largest starting lines of any dirt bike race anywhere, it's a sight to see. A cannon blast kicks it off. Then a thousand riders tear off across the desert, beelining for the same checkpoint. A standing flag far off in the distance. Fellow dirty mountain goat Kyle Strever competed in the 250 class. I hope to get my hands on his footage for a future video, so subscribe and stick around to see how he fared. Rumor has it, he rode the last 50 miles on a flat tubeless. I'll leave you guys with the start of the race aboard Kyle Strever's bike. Like I said, I, I hope to get my hands on all of his footage so we can take a look at how things progressed. And if I do, I'll be sure to put a video up within the next couple of weeks. Until then, stay dirty, my friends.